Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. That plane crashed last night. I'm going to use heavy air quotes on that in Iran, mm -hmm. out of the Tehran airport. Um, what was it? Because, I, I, you know, I saw the footage. They're not releasing the black boxes, by the way. Did you read that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, was... Can you tell us what that actually is? Um, what it actually is? Well, look, you can only apply context and basic human intellect to this situation, right? Planes crash sometimes, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, usually a plane that just took off doesn't immediately crash and kill everybody on board because it doesn't have the speed or altitude to do that yet. Right. So that, that part's kind of weird. Um, I don't know. I, we, here's what we know about this whole situation. We know that Iran is in a fucking weird situation. Generally That's speaking, yeah. yeah, like they're they're in a they're in a fucking. I don't know. I mean, we we will get into the attacks against U.S. bases soon, but um, what we do know for sure is that Iran is primarily backed by Russia, and mm -hmm. Russia is not too happy with Ukraine at any point. We don't know who was on that plane. I would be interested to see the manifest. Me too. Like, who's going back and forth from the Ukraine to Iran? So it was, yeah. uh, the, the, the headline <laughs> of it was 63 Canadians. That was primarily who was on I mean, that oh, flight. Oh, I did read that, that today. That, wow. leaves, yeah. that leaves 100 other people on that flight. Right. There was no Americans. I wouldn't expect there to be Americans. They wouldn't go that far. But they might, like, keep, keep an eye out uh, in the intelligence community for someone to leak or to, uh, for us to find out that there was some kind of asset on that mm -hmm. flight. Somebody that was either going to flip for mm -hmm. us. Look, people pretend to be Canadian to get into Middle Eastern countries it's all true. the time, per, especially uh, intelligence officers in the United States government. Like they often pretend to be Canadian to get in over there. So I don't know. That, well, that whole it, thing is very curious to at me. At that low of an <clears throat> altitude where, where it exploded, does the pilot crash it into the ground? Or is it shot down? Because one would think if it was shot down, there would be some evidence, a photograph, a video, Look, something. you don't need to shoot down a plane, though. All, so I, I'm not a pilot, but I know that, like, in emergency situations, you try to keep the nose from hitting first. Mm -hmm. You want to hit the rear the, or land the rear of the plane first just to mm -hmm. cushion some of the blow. Um, there's a lot of ways that you can sabotage an aircraft to make it not be able to do that. You know what I mean? To make gotcha. it look like it was an accident, yeah. but it really was I mean, it's, look, you, you can't tell me that Quds Force and the Iranian military in general doesn't have complete access to the Tehran airport. They mm -hmm. can do whatever they want. There's no TSA over there being like, hey, you guys aren't wearing a badge. They're like, no, this is Iran, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do what we want. So, I mean, I, to me, it's not, uh, what was the airline, by the way? I didn't, Ukraine International Airlines. So... <clears throat> Big fan of them. Uh, they get some deals going on right now. Yeah. If you're uh, looking to like get away. Like Spirit. <laughs> yeah. But way cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> now, discounted tickets. If you're looking uh, to get today. away, yeah. hop on over to their website. So here, here's the total, uh, not total, but so there were a bunch of people from Canada, mm -hmm. some Iranians, there were Swedish and Ukrainians on board as well. Mm -hmm. And then there were um, four passengers from Afghanistan, three from Germany and three from Britain. It's very, like, who from, it would have to be oil execs, maybe, that are flying back and forth there. Yeah, but look, again, the that? CIA has been using oil companies for 60 years now to hide assets and stuff like that. So I don't know. I mean, it's, it's bizarre. So uh, the, time, ask, the timing is very strange. I'm going to ask one more <laughs> left field question then. The, the red flag raises and all that shit, obviously. We've blown up Suleimani. Mm -hmm. Why are you still in the country? And why is that your your? Well, maybe they were trying to get out. I mean, it took them a couple of days, I guess. Yeah. But um, you would think they'd be on the first flight though. A few I would. Days ago. Correct. I mean, that was the first thing that went out is a warning to, especially America. Yeah. You know, you know, U.S. citizens, like, hey, get the hell out of there. They probably would have known something was going on there anyway with some of the, you know. Yeah. With just some of the. Um, oh, I can't think what they might give like warnings, mm -hmm. right? Bulletins and stuff like that, but. Uh, you would think there would be plenty of flights to get out of there. Like for us, living in North Carolina, we get hurricanes See. from time to time. Correct. It says on the news, hey, man, there might be a hurricane coming there. Within 48 hours, I'm fucking out of there. Mm -hmm. Why weren't they leaving? Um, I tend to lean toward what you're saying now. Because mm. let's face it, if you're staying a little bit longer, 
you know. There's a reason. There's a sure. reason. For it. Yeah. Because so if the, it's just normal people, you're getting the fuck out of there the yeah. next day of like, the pi- all right, we're at war war. Most people, we're unless they think here. that they're, unless they're like hippies and they're like, no, 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 like we're going to spread the love and let's then, just stay here. These, these, these are good people. They won't hurt us. All of the passengers would be from Ojai or Oregon. <laughs> right. I mean, not Calm down. Canada, you know? Well, <laughs> yeah. And so the pilot had uh, the... The head of the airline Dude. said that uh, there's no chance, basically. Well, the vice president of ops said yeah. there's no chance this was pilot error. Yeah. They said given the crew's experience, was, the probability was minimal that it yeah. was their error yeah. based upon the hours that they've flown throughout their entire career. Yeah, the captain had flown, like, what, 12,000 hours or so? Mm-hmm. And uh, the co-pilot had flown 7,600 on that parti- just on that particular aircraft. Yeah. So no. it's like... So and look, you, you, you can. I always go back to Bebo Russell, R.I.P. Sky King, <laughs> taking that plane out of uh, Seattle and then doing barrel rolls with it, and he had no flight experience, so mm-hmm. he was fine. There's a lot of there's a lot of <laughs> fishy <laughs> shit in here. So the the flight stopped transmitting tracker data two minutes in. Really? Yeah. It's very yeah. These are all the clues and signs to look for. Like, this doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense. Yeah. Sign up for Drinking Bros Conspiracy on Facebook, by the way. I'm sure that's going <laughs> like there? wildfire. Is there really a right page now. of that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Smart. There's like 10,000 plus in there. We, I mean, we do shows with them all the time. And they're all conspiracy theories? <laughs> yeah, they're great. They're fucking awesome. Uh, the, real, the real answer to all this is that we're never going to know what happened because Iran's never going to let that information go. I was going to say, they no. probably don't right. want people to know. Not in a million right. years. Um, but you can expect that they had something to do with it for sure. Yeah, uh, we'll move on to the attacks that happened um, on the U.S. spaces uh, in Iraq. <sighs> it's the day after, right? It's it, this is really. I, I think it's funny mm-hmm. as, it, as it was unfolding last night. People, it seemed real, people, and then you wake up in the morning and you're like, "All right, well, they didn't hit anything." Well, people were DMing me and saying like, uh, "Hamity was right." They went after bases that house U.S. soldiers, and they're mm-hmm. like, you were right. They did some fucking menial nonsense just to save face. Mm-hmm. That's a, This is exactly what I thought was going to happen. Just like a weird flex? Yeah. yeah. But that's the thing is they did. Okay. They threatened. They were like, bloodshed, and, you know, yeah. we're yeah, going to. They just don't have We're, we're going to come in with the iron fist, and then they do this, right? Right. Which, it was, I don't know if they were doing it to save face with their people, saying like, hey, we tried to retaliate. Like, oh, oops, we didn't hit anything. I think they purposely did it, too, though, because they didn't want to really... Poke the beast. But the U.S. does this hard. all the time, too. I mean, like, uh, a major terror attack will happen, like the USS Cole in 1998, and we'll blow up some fucking bomb facilities in Iraq. Where it's like no casualties. It's yeah. just sort of like, hey. Like, there, there might be a couple, but life is cheap over there. And I don't mean that in a negative way towards their... Uh, that's just, just the culture. Sometimes they expect death, so it's not as... If, if somebody... If if eight U.S. soldiers would have been killed yesterday, we would be at war right now, probably. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. There right. wasn't but any. Right? If we dropped a bomb on mm-hmm. Iraq or Iran somewhere and eight Iranians got killed, I mean, we just killed their top guy I know. and his and his buddy, fucking buddy, and then like, six more of them. Nothing happened. Yeah. So it was well, like death is just you know what I mean? not. It's just as, it's different there. Yeah. I, and I don't mean that to be degrading towards their culture. I think it's just different. Yeah. So, and when we, we talked to uh, Hamid Jassim on uh, Monday, and we did that episode about uh, the death of Soleimani, which. Everybody's great been episode. sending us messages. Thank you um, about how great that was. He's great. Yeah. Um, but after the show was over, he was even joking about what the price of life is over there. Where he, he said, uh, "Why well, why is your relative dead?" And he's like, "Well, he turned 40. I'm like, "What?" <laughs> and he goes, "Yeah, forty's the life expectancy over there." Wow. And I was like, "Why?" And he goes, "Food, all kinds of fucked up shit. Yeah. Like, just your heart will explode, and that's it. You're forty in Iraq, and you know, well, time to move on." I was like, holy shit. If that's the way you grew up your entire life, and that's a very normal way of thinking. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So for them, they're just kind of like, healthy, it's their culture. But, yeah. By the way, these missiles they fired were the same ones that they were firing at us during Gulf War One, mm-hmm. <laughs> Like, that were sailing over people's heads and landing in, in the Gulf. Yeah, because I'm yeah. no rocket scientist, but one would imagine if you have a rocket, it would have precision, and yeah. you would know exactly mm-hmm. where you're, you're going to strike, not... Hey, we missed it by no, 500, 600 yards. They have precision. Yeah. You know, where they can target. and Yeah. So th- they so. knew exactly where these were going to land. It wasn't going to hurt anything. I don't know if those anything. were the exact ones. They might have, like, the cheap knockoff well, we Walmart annihilated versions a or something. Person but that was getting off of Yeah, we picked <laughs> off one guy just getting out of a car. That's what I'm saying. Well, that was also with a, you know, uh, 
UAV on main yeah. well, aircraft. Well, that's what I'm saying, but that's, a, right. that's precision, Holmes. That is precision, but that's what we do. <laughs> if we're going to do something, we're going to do it right. Maybe they were just doing it just to be like, hey, we're going to... Well, that's the theory, right? Show face to the people yeah. and say that we did something, but we don't want to make sure we really, really? hit anything important yeah. <laughs> to start something that we're not ready for yet. So. Yeah, and that's what it seemed like to me. And, and then Trump this morning in his speech, if you get a chance to watch it, said... Yeah, we watched it before. I ran his back down. Yeah. And... It, that's what I that was my first thought when I woke up this morning I saw yeah. that no one was killed uh, that, that's exactly what I thought and you and Hamidi called this on mm-hmm. that episode on Monday and it all came to fruition so what happens now is my well I've got an unpopular opinion what's going to happen is we'll just keep parrying attacks back and forth in the same smaller way smaller stuff the same stuff will be happening mm-hmm. uh, like not huge attacks yeah, it'll, but it'll just, just be enough. like s- small scale proxy bullshit what I think honestly should happen is that we should send people to Iraq and secure that country like what what Hamity and I were talking about the other day is <clears throat> he he's I don't know about the numbers he's saying 24 million people but I know that Shia dominated areas are protesting Iranian involvement in their government they're burning down the houses of Iraqi politicians that are kowing to the Iranian government they want them out right and uh, honestly the Iranian youth I guess for lack of a better phrase wants the same thing they want this old school autocratic theocratic leadership gone they don't like it they hate it like Soleimani was not a popular guy among non-radicals in Iran um <clears throat> I think we should press the issue a little more to be honest um and mo- mostly just to keep like th- there's people will say like I'm not I'm not a fucking warmonger or anything like that but this is the same ideology we use the same strategy we use during the cold war at the end to win against russia russia is a constant thorn in our side Mm. and the more we make them spend time and money and effort in iran the less they can spend in their own country Mm -hmm. their economy collapses it's the same thing that happened in the late 80s right Mm. i think we should keep pressing the issue Mm.